welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We are officially at our house. Check this out. Two car garage and we have a huge RV garage. Now, as I mentioned, I don't think this is 40 foot. Let's count, let's count, let's see, let's see. All right, so one, two, oh gosh, three, oh man, I can never walk the line. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So this is 40 foot, so our RV is 40 foot, so that may not be a good thing. We need at least 42 foot for it to fit in here. So let's take a look at, the heck was that? Did you hear that? Huh? Oh guys, look, here's a new house. Oh yeah, by the way, our furniture's not here. And we don't know when it's gonna be here. And yeah, thank God we have an RV. But man, I love rancher style homes. Even though I'm only like, how old am I, 34? I'm 34 years old, I think. Even though I'm 34 years old, I do not want stairs anymore. Like, I'm done with that life. I've been doing that all my life. As a kid now, don't want it anymore. But check out this big old RV. Who buys these big old RVs? Gee whiz. And check out that beautiful GMC. Wow. So let me see if I can get my wife to help me back this sucker up. By the way, I need to go get the trailer weight again. I might do it before we take everything out because the last time I got it weighed, I had 80 gallons of water in the back. So it's squatting a good bit right now. And I think it's probably because that weight on the rear kind of took some weight off of the front. So let's go ahead and um, get Hannah to help us out so we can get this bad boy backed in. We probably won't keep it in there tonight because I don't think it's gonna fit honestly, but we're not gonna keep it in there because we have a lot of stuff to take out of it. So Mrs. HB, are you ready to do this? Yeah. And guys, look, look what our landlords got us. They got us all this great stuff, man. <sighs> I am, um, are you guys happy to be out of the RV? You're happy? I thought you guys said you were sad when we were moving out of it. I guess once you get them in the house, they, they, they don't know how to act anymore, right? That's how I am too. I'm actually really excited to take a break. And then next year we're going back on the road, right? There you go. Actually, we're not going back on the road again, probably. Just for a short stance, but not right now. I almost forgot how to take this off. Perfect. Thank God I greased all this stuff. Yes. And almost there. So hopefully by having this off the RV, it helps us fit in the garage a little better. It's about two feet wide. Yeah, you're good. Pull it back. On the driver's driver side. side. Am I better right there? Ooh. Justin, stop. You know what? What? RAC. Um, I don't know if it's going to fit in here. It might be too tall. It might be too tall? With the AC, here. yep. Why don't you yeah, bring, it, bring it back close and then I'll tell you to stop and then you come and look. Okay. So 
So it goes on the side of the house, right next to the tumbleweed. Alrighty, so we still have to get a lot of stuff out of the RV, so we're just thinking in our heads, it's not that wide in here. So I'm thinking, since we can't get it in the garage, it's not a big deal. So you guys know I have a black trailer, right? So we're gonna put that in here and the RV will just be on the side of the house. But why would you build an RV garage this deep and not give yourself any height? I would venture to say, I don't know how wide this is, and maybe at a later date I'll do some measurements, but if you're gonna build an RV garage, build a 45 by 12 and make it 14 foot high. That's the garage I'd build, 45 feet long, because there's very few RVs that won't fit in that. Now, if you're building a, a ridiculously nice house, you know, I would venture to go 50 foot deep. But for most average houses, like this house should have a 45 foot garage, 10 feet wide at the very least, and then 14 foot high. That way it would accommodate majority of the RVs. But my RV is about 13 four because we have the optional AC unit. And so it won't fit inside of here. I looked and I said, you know what? The AC unit in the back barely will clear this. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Like I said, we have a black trailer that we're gonna be bringing. And so that will go in here. Or I could just park two trucks tandem because I'm looking to buy two trucks next year. So I could get two trucks inside of the garage. But hope this video was helpful. We're pretty much done here. Um, I don't even know if this truck will fit in this side of the garage. But I'm going to have to pull the RV on the opposite side of the house here so we can get all the stuff out. And then we will officially put it on the side here. It's really windy today. So these gates will not stay open. But yeah, check it out. The owners of the house said they still want to come back and finish graveling the back of the yard. But we have a really good view. So if you don't remember, we were going to build a house in Maryland and our view was going to look something like this. It just wasn't hilly. It was like more like a, I don't know, like a prairie maybe. But um, we still have to figure out what we're going to do back here. But there's still a lot to be done. Um, I'm just happy we have a house now. This is a really good feeling because we never intended to live in an RV for three years. We intended to do it for like maybe a year, build a house and then basically pull up to the house and move in. Kind of like what we did here. So sometimes things don't work out the way they do, but watch my last video I did because I discussed that in that one. But I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Um, whoop, this door's locked. I just know that when I go to build my next house, this is a good like example of what I'm not gonna do. Um, even like having this site here, I would make this like probably 14 feet wide. That way you can open up your slides, all that good stuff. But really, this is, well, this is probably, this is probably about 10 feet at least. I'm just really close on this side, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll give you guys some updates on how we're living and see you soon.